Hey guys, how are we doing? Uh, I did a video the other day about uh, indecision. Uh, it was something. It was something I'm really passionate about. Is that indecision is a cancer when it comes to progress. It's like something that can get hold of you, cripple you. Um, it's often a, a downstream effect of fight, flight, or freeze. The sort of uh, the response you have when something is either happening too fast, too slow, or you don't know why you're doing it. But how do you cripple indecision? How do you crush it? And that is one of the questions I actually had thrown at me uh, on more than one occasion. It's like, it's all right, like you kind of, the normal uh, phrase goes, it's all right for you, Ben, you're used to doing this, you're used to taking action, or used to um, saying these things, but how do you do it if you've never done it before? Well, what I feel is the, the thing that cripples indecision is, well, first of all, action, but how do you create that action? And, and in my personal opinion, opinion, it's commitment and accountability. So how do you create these things if you haven't got them currently in your life? Well, here's a, here's a scenario for you. You've got every intention to go to the gym, okay? Uh, you've got every intention, but an intention isn't an action. It's a, it's a I'm going to, or I should go to the gym, okay? How many times should you have started a diet? I hear people multiple nights out come up to me and say, Ben, oh, I should start your fitness camp. It's boring, I actually have heard that many times, okay? And I and the same people, I just go, yeah, super duper, happy days, but I know they're never gonna take action on that, okay? Because they should do, may do, want to, okay? That's not action. Uh, you know, if someone comes in, I'm going to start your fitness camp, that's a conversation I like to pursue. Um, anyway, so um, what I was um, what was going on about is that turning sort of a, a commitment into a real action is accountability, and this is what we've got. You know, something we've got really good, um, really good power over in fast is that we have a group of very accountable people. It's quite funny that some of them actually, uh, some of our guys actually text each other in the morning saying, "Are you going to fitness camp?" and uh, if the answer is ever no, um, you know, we get people conjoling each other, come on, let's go. But accountability is where you feel that you are doing it because or for someone else other than yourself, or you're just trying to create something in your life that is um, that is worthwhile, okay? It's, it's outsourcing the need to make the decision sometimes as well, which is quite nice. It's like, sometimes when you, when you have the power of decision, it can be quite overwhelming. When you've got a load of decisions in your job, you've got loads of things on your plate, you've already made multiple decisions in the day. When you get to five o'clock and you have to go training and you can have a yes, no situation, if you're the only one making the decision, sometimes the, the devil on your shoulder can get the better of you, right? So how do you have this thing, this, you know, how do you have this commitment and accountability if you don't have it? Well, the commitment is saying, I am going to achieve X, by why, okay, and in the time frame of. So it's like, I want to achieve X amount of body fat loss, I want to achieve X time in a, um, in a 10K, by training three times per week, so you should state the action, and then you're gonna say, I'm gonna do this in 12 weeks. And once you've got that phrase, and once you've got that statement correct in your head and you're happy with it, then you can pursue getting out and doing it. You can go to the athletics track if you're a runner, you can go to the gym if you enjoy the gym, or if you feel like you need some group accountability, we've got Fast Way to Fitness and this is what we do. We help people who decide that they want X, they know that they're gonna do it via Y, like by training in a certain way, and they want a certain time frame to do it by. And it's actually committing to that. And the way to the way to commit to things is to tell people to, to get it out there, to free it out from you. So when you have the opportunity to cop out, okay, to, to believe your own bullshit that you can't succeed, that you're not good enough, you won't do it, you're a failure like you were last time, there's someone else to catch you out and go, hang on a second, you said you were gonna do this. Why haven't you done it right now? Why are you not there? And then you can go, actually, well, I'm there, I'm not there because I've been uh, skipping training. Okay, well now you have admitted that, you can start making, start doing something about it. And this is where the the sort of hide it, you know, hiding, um, bullshitting, uh, kind of copping out gets quashed. 
absolutely quashed. If you've got a partner who's equally as accountable as you are, that means also that you're not gonna jib out of sessions, you're gonna make sure you're on time, you're gonna make sure you'll be there. I'm really lucky at the moment, my gym partner, Sean, he's always on time, he's committed, we've got the same sort of results, uh, see, we want the same sort of results, so my training's flying. I've been in the same experience. I was gonna go to the gym at five every day, didn't happen because once all my willpower had been exhausted in the day, running my business, I had a situation where I had no motivation to then go and kick my own ass to get myself training. So indecision popped up. So going back to the first you know, part of the video, how do you quash indecision? Like, should I or shouldn't I train? Accountability, okay, and commitment. If you need any help with that, guys, just get in touch. Cheers for watching the video.